Hi, this is Christian Faust, and welcome to your edition of the Core Real Estate Minute. Today, I'm going to talk about the basics of a wholesaler agreement. If you're an investor and you're buying property from a wholesaler, there's some important contra- contract basics that you really need to understand. First is the purchase agreement. And the purchase agreement is executed between the seller, the owner of the property, and the wholesaler. And upon that execution, it gives the wholesaler equitable interest to market that property to find somebody who's going to be the equitable owner, which is usually the real estate investor of the property. So some of the basics that need to be included in the purchase agreement are one, who is the who are the who is or are the owners of the property? Very important to make sure both legal owners are are in the agreement. The second part is who who are the parties to the agreement, the buyer and the seller? Third is the legal description of the property. Here in Florida, they call that the property ID or the strap number. Uh, in your state or area, it may be something uh, different that they refer to it as. Purchase price. You want to know what you're paying for the property. You want to know the condition of the property, if there's any known defects uh, that needs to be put in there. You also want to see if there's any contingencies, maybe what your inspection period is, um, or if there are any other contingencies, a clear title, maybe there's a lien that needs to get paid off. And lastly, but not least, is the closing date. It's important to know when you're buying a contract or buying a property through a wholesaler, uh, when you're going to need to close on that property so you can have your financing in place. I hope you found this core real estate minute helpful. Thank you.